everybody and welcome to this week's Tune In Tuesday. Right, here's one for you. What has no brain, no eyes, no bones, no heart and no blood, but has been on the earth for over 500 million years, predating the dinosaurs? Now it's not a trick question. The answer you're looking for is the jellyfish. These bizarre yet beautiful creatures are made up of over 90% water and move around in a mesmerizing pulsing motion, operated by a simple net of nerves. There are over 2,000 known species of jellyfish, but scientists predict that there could be hundreds of thousands of species left to be discovered. But only six different species of jellyfish can be found around the UK. And today, I'd like to focus on one in particular. The barrel jellyfish is the largest species of jellyfish found in UK seas and can reach impressive sizes, as large as even dustbin lids, granting this giant its other common name, the dustbin lid jellyfish. These invertebrates swarm warmer coastal waters in late spring. However, as is often the case with larger and unusual looking marine species, barrel jellyfish are greatly misunderstood. Cue the reports of monster jellyfish lurking in the deep. However, despite their size, barrel jellyfish are pretty harmless to humans. Though all jellyfish have stings, the barrel jellyfish sting is tailored to their prey, which are actually some of the smallest of the ocean's inhabitants, plankton. Barrel jellyfish have eight frilly arms extending from the large umbrella-shaped section of their bodies, which is called the umbrella. These frills contain small stinging cells which surround hundreds of little mouths. These stinging cells can paralyze small prey that, if small enough, will go into the mouths and be ingested. But all jellyfish species digest food very quickly, else they wouldn't be able to float, being weighed down by all that undigested lunch. The scientific name of barrel jellyfish is Rhizostoma pulma. However, they have been previously named Rhizostoma octopus, owing to these eight frilly arms. Octopus, of course, meaning eight-legged. These jellyfish are usually pretty uniform in colour and can even appear translucent. However, many do feature a bright violet fringe around the umbrella, which contains sense organs. Apparently, researchers found that these jellyfish are particularly sensitive to the vibration produced by ships and will even move downwards as one approaches. That's pretty smart for something without a brain. Yes, we humans often make the mistake of shrugging something off if we deem it unintelligent, and we couldn't be more wrong. These jellyfish have lots and lots of different uses, including, due to their size, they've actually been known to provide refuge for small crabs and even small fish. Not only do they provide refuge and benefits to other ocean creatures, they also provide benefits to humans too, with even reports of 18th century fishermen feasting on them. However, I don't think that this would much resemble a delicious bowl of clotted cream, ice cream and strawberry jelly. Also, in Carmarthen Bay in Wales, in 2014, they actually started the commercial harvest of barrel jellyfish, producing a high medical grade collagen. However, this has been known to produce knock-on effects to the local leatherback turtle populations, as the leatherback's favourite snack is the barrel jellyfish. Now, leatherback turtles are heavily endangered and also the largest species of sea turtle on the planet. So this leads me on to my next point. One of the most well-recognised and appreciated mascots of the global plastic pollution movement is the analogy of the plastic bag and the jellyfish. 
By this, I mean how marine plastics are readily mistaken as food items, particularly as jellyfish for sea turtles and are subsequently ingested. Which is why it's so important that when we're out and about in the environment and it's safe to do so, that we continue to remove the littered plastics. So please keep a close eye on the Beach Guardian Facebook page as we begin to give updates on the continuation of our community beach cleans. But of course, we'll only be doing this when it's safe to do so for us, for our volunteers and the general public as well. So as always, thank you so much for watching this week's Tune In Tuesday. If you enjoyed the video, why not give it a like, comment or share? And remember, if you do happen to get stung by a jellyfish, you don't have to run and find a stranger to pee on you. It doesn't help and it's just gross. See you next week.